trash back again just doing a video on the how to change in-game icons or edit them whatever you want to do with them so first it's going to go just for the for this little tutorial i'm going to go in here i'm just going to make a new one called icons so just uh don't do this this is just for for this video so if you want to change your icons which are well let's go into the database for a second Let's look at your items here. See how there's a potion icon here? You click on on your icon, and you can actually change it to any of the different icons you want. Let's make this potion look like this one. So now if you ever get a high potion, it'll look like this, regular this, that. Uh, but say you wanted to have a brand new one. There's all this empty space here for new items. So you can put all these new items in here if you want to. Or you can replace one that's already up here or change the colors. So let's just change the colors. Let's go with this one here again. Uh, it's item number 192. So just remember that if you need to. So that's this icon here. So let's say we want to change that. So we have to go out of the database. And we're going to go into Resource Manager. So it's in here. You go down to System graphics and then system icon set preview see that's the thing we want to edit right there so we're going to want to export that so for this purposes thing we're going to put this uh right you know let's put it right on okay you know what let's put it in i have a folder here where i have all my game stuff i'm going to just put a one Actually, I made one here earlier called New Stuff. I'm going to put it in here. This is where all the new stuff that I'm editing will go. So I did that. That's fine. That's out there now. So back in my Game Stuff folder here, going into the New Stuff, there's my uh, picture file. So you have to go into that using whatever editor you have. I use GIMP because it's awesome and free. So here we are inside the editor, the GIMP editor. So I'm zooming in. You can see the items real nice up close. This is the one we wanted to change here. So let's just say, just to make sure we can know that we're getting it working, let's just quickly, uh, let's just fill it with a red ball so we know what's going on. Give me a sec here, I gotta change something. Where do I? Okay, I'll. Uh, give me a sec, okay, I'll I'm be back. back. Uh, yeah, I was kind of retarded. I, uh, I was on the wrong tool. So I'm just gonna pop a little circle over this. You know what? Let's make a nice little circle here. Because there are borders, each of these is a certain size. Uh, let's find out the size. These seem to take up... Okay, let's check this. I'm just going to drag these lines around until I figure out the exact size of these icons. I think that's it. So they are... I think they're 24 by 24. Actually, should go up a line here. They're 24 by 24 pixels. So... Uh, if you're making a new one, you just have to make sure it's 24 by 24 pixels, that's all. Okay, so there's our little red blob. I'm going to save this. Actually, in this program, I just overwrite. Close that. So here's our file again. We edited it. You look in here, there's our red blob we put over top of the potion. So, it's not in-game yet, though. So, we'll load back up here. As you can see, it's not yet in the game. It doesn't change this yet. It still looks the same. And you click on that. It's not there yet. So, here's how we put it there. You're going to want to go... I would suggest just copying this file instead of cutting it. Because if you edit it later, it's easier. You can just pop it back over and over again, recopying it. So we copied it. Uh, this is the one that I 
that I made here. Oh, icons. Sorry, I'm in the wrong folder. Icons. This is our game here. These are all of our resources for our games. So you're going to want to go into graphics and system. Same place you found it originally. There's nothing in here yet, but that's just because there's no custom thing. So it'll automatically use the default. So we're pasting this in here. This is our same one. As you can see, it's right there. Now let's go back into the game. Database. Hey, there it is. There's our blob. So we now, that's how you replace an icon in the game like that. So now your potion will look like whatever you put there. In our case, it's a red circle. So that's how you bring brand new graphics into the, the icons. This is only for the icons, not other ones like that. I'll do videos on those next or something. So that's how you bring in one of those new ones. If you wanted to bring in a brand new one without editing one, you would just have to line it up with the rest here. Uh, and you would just pop it below right in here, next one here, next one here, next one here, and they would get numbers the same as the other one. Remember this was 192, a red blob was 192. So you're just gonna have to look up the numbers and that's how you know the numbers for them. Those you can use in other things like in text, you can have it show an icon as well, things like that. So there you go. That's how you bring new items into the game or edit the icons there or whatever. All right.